Assalamu alaikum. I'm Shahid. I'm back today at Dr. Rubaidul Islam's house. So, so far, you know, uh, last two weeks ago, I uploaded a video uh, on his backyard. And uh, he did a wonderful job uh, to prepare his backyard. He made a wonderful garden there. After uploading that video, I received a lot of questions and uh, reviews about the update of that garden. Uh, so today I came here again and uh, we'll talk with my uncle uh, and we'll ask him about uh, the update of those uh, uh, vegetables. So far, uh, as I have seen last week, there are a lot of initiatives that had been taken by uncle, Dr. Ubaidul Islam, where he applied a lot of his scientific and research-based knowledge and uh, tried to grow uh, different common and uncommon vegetables where uh, there are some uh, types of vegetables which uh, sometimes may not be available in the market and he collected those uh, seedlings from different uh, countries and different communities etc etc however other than that uh, i will ask him how a general person uh, can apply those knowledge in their own uh, backyard and uh, grow their own uh, vegetable garden Besides that, uh, I will also ask him about uh, different training programs, if he can organize that, those programs and deliver those programs to the community and develop the knowledge of the community. However, uh, here uh, today I will talk with uh, Uncle about the overall update of the garden. So, let's go. Hello, uncle. 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 Hello, so, এই জিনিসগুলো খুবই আকর্ষণীয় লাগছে আমার কাছে তো আপনি যদি একটু কাইন্ডলি আমাকে একটু এটার এই সবজিগুলোর প্রগ্রেসটা একটু বুঝায় বলতেন তাহলে আমার খুব ভালো লাগতো এবং অনেকেই এটা সম্পর্কে জানতে চাইছে তো তাদেরও খুব ভালো লাগতো আর কি थैंक यू শহীদ ডিউরিং ওর লাস্ট ভিজিট অলরেডি ইউ हैव नोटिस्ड সো মেনি প্ল্যান্স আর গোইং জাস্ট আর্লি স্টেজেস বাট টুডে ইউ ক্যান ফাইন্ড some plants already been fruiting and some are already got maturity so here is one thing very interesting you see these tomatoes there is five varieties of tomatoes here and these tomatoes particularly some are early some are late and some are medium maturity so this variety is already 55 days after planting it got matured fruits so seedling could be the 10 15 days so i planted this uh, variety june 15th today is it is 27 so almost 45 days here this plant so after that the kale is there so this this tomato variety is also the medium range but it still it has no flower but uh, we are planting the same time and so it is late maybe and in other lines also the same hey, another is the grape tomato here uh, this is already has fruit over but maybe takes uh, another two weeks to be matured and <coughs> some eggplants line is there about seven eggplants line here other in part is there also more but you can find here very interesting some are getting fruits and all have different characters and in between you can see that this this is not a capsicum this is the chili different kinds of chilies here and and fruiting is different types and already we have been harvested 
more than four pounds of this chili uh, last week and it is so early uh, only after planting uh, uh, about 30 days we got this fruits this is not hot chili but it is a, it can be used in the vegetable and another is the you know garden pea has nice fruiting now and it is so early uh, getting uh, fruit about after 40 days of planting it is giving the fruits and here is also banana chilies everybody knows that banana chili is also growing good at the same time we have been uh, planting that is uh, below 50 days all hours and the capsicum uh, the green capsicum all plants also giving the fruits here the green, green capsicum is here and another uh, actually capsicum the yellow capsicum but it's still not fruiting here but i don't know this chili is different of that capsicum how it comes but anyway i got this seed seedlings from the store in between you can find this actually some the red leaf amaranth it is mature why it is here you can think on that but it is for the seed purpose it will automatically give seeds and out of these four plants there is two types of beans a lot of beans we have already been harvested this is one kind of beans and this is also another kind of bean and this plant is viney and this is bush bean and but a lot of bearing is there already few pounds or we harvested from this four or five plants and this tomato variety is also um, maybe late but i am very in, happy that no diseases there but uh, before this tomato plants have many foliar diseases but this time is good because already we have chosen the seedlings from different stores and there is very cheap seedlings also available here but uh, somebody say this is very cheap but good but really it is not good but it is expensive seedlings I bought so it is going good and uh, about this uh, eggplant here you can see this this is also little finger uh, many fruits will come eventually but it is uh, I think it is purple is white and it is again purple but fruit size and fruit color, color little bit different here is the green Thai eggplant but this Thai eggplants usually Sri Lankan people are used to their uh, vegetable but I got these seedlings from a shop but uh, so far I don't know how much it will come yield I think in last time when you came here I mentioned one thing there should be participatory plant breeding I mean consumers traders at the same time growers should be come together and select that which is the best or which is the good for everyone so you can find here you know these plants if you give one or two fruits is nothing so high ling less diseases good taste looking good this variety would be selected by participatory plant breeding and after that its improvement can be done uh, through the participation anyway so here we can already showing that thing uh, we are finding that really difference is there and this four eggplant it is really late and it is uh, there is a spine over there and this spiny variety I don't know so from where it is come but I got it is from a store but it is really late and uh, I uh, just uh, only two months left for the growing period how it would be but anyway this is the different variety though it is ethnic varieties so this is not going good here on the uh, way out uh, I found on neighbor house there's a big plants of the eggplant but nothing fruiting even here no flowering even so that is the actual problem to identify real variety from the store so if anyone already try to keep the seeds or if anyone can keep seeds for the next year use by own so it would be the good but how to keep the seeds and how to maintain the purity how to maintain the variety it is also important because 
it is a cross pollinated crops when it is open pollination being happen so problem is varietal purity would be lost on interesting things here it is the grape tomato these grape tomatoes seeds i collected from somebody already brought a packet of grape tomato at my home as a gift and really i found it is very good so after that i grew this plant so only all bunch already coming here but it is early uh, at the same time i believe uh, this year is okay but if it is also growing uh, many fruits in future maybe but uh, however this is a very nice putting habit of this plant but i don't know but if it is uh, growing good so i can keep it in my garden for the next year next we can move here and actually we find this there is a, some chilies it is also chilies on the pot why this plant in the um, pot so you know in september october temperature will come down and this plant become die in the field but during that time lots of fruiting um, maybe available on the spot plant and it can be uh, more than one or two months inside i can keep and can enjoy the fruits so that's why some variety planted on the pot and here is this uh, you know uh, yard long bean also we have been harvested before and now some are going here and another egg plants variety is here very interesting you can find here so lot of flower is coming it is branchy and really it is uh, um, after i think uh, two weeks lot of fruit would be uh, available here and some also being there so every year we should buy this type of variety from the store because it is really not possible to keep the seeds because there will be cross pollination happening and variety will not be possible to maintain so we are not interested at all but anyway we are growing so like if the participation will take place here to select the variety so if somebody come like three groups consumers traders and um, growers or researcher so what would be the waste on they can select it so there is an option of that so here is the potatoes uh, last time i already told about that actually but potato plants become like matured so last this week or after this week we can harvest it and this is also zucchini already we got lot of zucchini from here and it is also one week after will be um, just clean up this potato and zucchini after that i will plant here uh, red leaf amaranth i mean uh, lal shak and some coriander though this garden uh, has been started in, uh, actually on june 15th and because why it is in june 15 very interesting thing because this this is the permanent bed this bed was not before so i am so much interested in the garden is so that uh, my son was very much helping to me and he already decided that he must made a permanent bed for me and uh, actually we called the contractor and they have already visited us and give the budget about 6000 dollars for making this bed and after that my son uh, went to the store and uh, how much the material said uh, this and that he take care of that and finally two weeks since morning to evening he himself made this apartment bed and he, he cost about two thousand dollars four thousand dollars savings at the, at the same time my son perfectly professionally did it for me and in this garden also she is very much interested and uh, today morning also how to breeding the crop and how to select the good variety how to grow the crop he came here so we can usually join to me to help me help me as well as uh, he is much interested in the garden so he is my uh, i think after me he can lead this program with my family my daughter my wife anyway so this uh particularly this uh, zucchini and uh, this uh, actually potato harvesting we can go for again cultivation of the uh, crops so after 15 june today already almost 
15 or almost 40 days. So after 40 days, uh, another five days after, I mean after 50 days, second crop we can be started. Very interesting. And here, Colocasia, I mean uh, taro. Taro is also growing very good here. Uh, as I told you before, taro is a shade loving plant. So this taro leaf can be used as vegetable and uh, South Asian people, particularly Oriental people and South Asian people, loves too much this taro leaf. And even you uh, visiting uh, just an uh, ethic shop, you find it more than three dollars per pound of these leaves. So <laughs> fresh leaf you can get in your home if you uh, grow it uh, in your kitchen, backyard garden or balcony garden. Those who are living in the apartment, they can grow in the balcony garden. And uh, this is also a sweet gourd. Sweet gourd has this also uh, started fruiting here. So uh, just uh, I got only one uh, fruiting started here. Uh, this is the this is the just the fruiting. Uh, it will be maybe uh, opening flower maybe after two days uh, ready to pollination. Anyway, so here is also this rice gourd. Rice gourd has a lot of flowers, but still this plant does not have fruiting. But uh, other part is, is fruiting started, and you you can see here uh, it is the Indian spinach. Somebody says Indian spinach, uh, but uh, in India, um, Bangladesh, it is a puishak, and combination of the puishak and red leaf here, and, uh, and this is uh, this is a very nice vegetable. There is a project by VRDC in South Asia, particularly this uh, Indian spinach already identified as a very good vegetable and it, it can be make a soup and other things very soft. So it is growing so after um, just about two feet so we can harvest in the meat of the plants. After six node we should harvest it because after harvesting the lot of uh, branches will be started from the different nodes so that's why you're waiting but it is ready to get but if I take it so plant will be smaller so it is affected to grow so that's why you're waiting for next week and this this is uh, also another uh, bottle goat I mean squash you see this is the round on and not only uh, this is the round on also this is, you find the next node has the uh, another fruit it will come tomorrow maybe the ready for pollination and this is really very good variety and already some fruits uh, already I got before uh, other places other um, plant and here is also another has got the food successfully uh, pollinated. So pollination comes uh, through the insect as well as uh, we are um, usually doing the pollination. My wife uh, in the afternoon it is good time for pollination and that's why I have some flowering um, flower plants. So to attract the pollinator that's why some flower plants should be in the garden. Uh, so this is another garden technology. And this is small plant, but lot of already uh, fruiting is coming. There, there is a, so maybe many fruits will come. So this is very good variety in my sense because small plants. It is also only only 30, 30 days plants. It is, I planted is late, but really fruiting uh, already started. Here another uh, variety of it is a, it is the winter melon it is winter melon already uh, we have harvested before on but th this is a winter melon and this plant has also this ability to give lot of fruits here is also another uh, here on in the top is also another so this already we have already harvested on but this plant has another problem I saw it some foliar diseases I notice it so um, this is I bought from Ch Chinese store but I'm, I, I think this could be the discarded and kill varieties uh, maybe the susceptible to some diseases uh, this is uh, looks like a sarcospora leafy spot but anyway so there is some foliar diseases and some micronutrient deficiency maybe but other plants have the same nutrition but nothing happened here but only this plant 
anyway so this disease has transferred to this uh, uh, squash also this is bottle gourd next is um, uh, bottle gourd here actually very interesting you see this a uh, lot of bottle gourds by this time already i uh, started to uh, already giving fruit this plant and looks very good and here is the same plant also this bottle gourd and very interesting already about eight or nine fruits already here and there they are now they are already pollinated successfully and they are uh, sure this fruit is okay if you know you are not pollinating it uh, right time sometimes you can find it but uh, finally fruit will not be developed and it will expoil um, like uh, become yellow and others but it is not here and you can see one thing here uh, this is plastic cover why it is so it is interesting but this is a fruit yesterday we did pollination here because i did selfing the same flower uh, pollen from the same flower i already artificially pollinated it and before already opening the male and female flower i already covered it and after pollination again already i covered it and during the pollination i uh, just wash my hand and with the rectified spirit uh, because pollen uh, pollen should not be uh, contaminated so this variety i can continue to be here this variety is not already from the market since long time we are continuing it and keeping the seeds and in canada very interesting i saw you can keep the squash seeds after pollination 60 days enough to develop the seed of the fruit after there is after that there is some process how to collect seeds how to dry it how to preserve it that is little bit technical but it is easy to keep it seeds here yeah, and maintaining the variety and here another uh, variety um, i can say it is little different so there is a round there is a bottle shape and here is another it is little bit different than other two variety here is also the same thing i did of this variety uh, selfing i um, have already done yesterday and still today it is covered tomorrow i will take it out what about i am talking about this third variety that is different than other so here you can see very interesting you see lot of fruits here you see here and there this fruit is here so in the same type of fruits where uh, this uh, uh, apical portion of the fruit and the base of the fruit was the equal but here is so the base of the fruit is very narrow and top portion is a little bit thicker so this fruiting type is different and and it has also the bearing high bearing i mean lot of fruits in different node and it is growing very well and color is very attractive light green so usually i know south asian and the oriental people sometimes dark green sometimes light green they preferred particularly women when they cook uh, they are thinking that some uh, sometimes actually the edible portion after cooking they are very soft and palatable some are not such that extent it is a little bit fibrous so there is a important things to be selected what kind of variety they like and this is a particularly three types of variety we found and among them on uh, variety here become larger already by this time here so this is round on here you see uh, this is this is this is already uh, doing large but this round on is not very large fruit but very tasty and i know that before i grew it and so this is uh, re really very um, popular variety in south east uh, south east asia in india and it's called loki and here on this is the dolicus lablum the short plants already giving fruits it it was uh, already planted uh, um, uh, last week of june though seedling was about 2 weeks after that 
but in end of July it is giving fruits. Uh, so one thing very important here for the crops, day length is very important uh, and temperature are very important for this such kind of crops, not it is very important for this uh, loki, I mean this lau or uh, squash, but for dolichus lablum. So in Canada, there is some limitations of vegetable garden of South Asian crop is day length. Actually, there is a 15, 16 hours day length and these crops are used to grow in the short day length, about 8 to 10 hours day length, uh, maximum 12 hours. So that's why actually this dolichus usually uh, grew in our country in back home winter season, short day length as well as temperature, night temperature is low and day temperature also competitively low. But here gradually they are adapted and they are giving fruit and if you already grow lot of germ plasm, lot of variety of the same crops, definitely you can find some all good and adaptive. So it is one of the example. This is a, one kind of bitter melon. This is a very popular in Bangladesh, uh, India. Uh, particularly uh, it is growing on the um, ground and very small fruits and it's a, it has special taste and uh, recipe is different. So we lost it uh, actually we never uh, get this variety. But uh, fortunately, one of my friend already he gave me four seeds, and out of four seeds, uh, to two seeds uh, already um, uh, gave plant, and I planted it. Actually, it is so late, but uh, I'm lucky that uh, few fruits already by this time already I got. And very interesting when they started fruiting, so many flower, female flower came, and the male flower, and uh, pollination uh, uh, I never done it uh, artificially naturally what happened so that's why successful of fruit percentage less but uh, anyway uh, when I get time I will uh, do pollination but uh, now I uh, you can see here this uh, fruit size and it is um, fruit some fruits may be here now we have already taken up here is this uh, on, on fruit here and two fruit here and some some are already here already is a little bit large fruit and you see here uh, some fruit here it is it is so size uh, size is very small but it has this uh, really an ethnic group so far i know some ethnic group is ready to buy it very high price if i say it is a five or five dollars per pound everybody everyone is ready to buy it because it has a special taste and it is not available so this ethnic uh, actually crop collection gave me this opportunity this year very special that new variety of the bitter melon already been collection in my collection and I will try to multiply it and exchange the seeds those who are interested to grow and very good it is uh, good news is that uh, maybe I can multiply seed very easily here because isolation process is very easy here. There is no other variety, only one variety is here. So I can separately grow it other places and varietal maintenance is possible. And here another uh, actually this Dolichus is also giving fruit and on Devil's Squash plant is here. Oh, <laughs> I am telling it Devil, it's very interesting. Uh, in uh, uh, 2014, I collected some seedlings from Chinese stores. One Chinese store gave me the this uh, Loki seeds. I mean this Lao or Loki or bottle goat seed, seedling. And after growing, it was nicely grew, and lots of and fruits was there. And finally, when I harvested, it was bitter too bitter at the same time leaves everything is bitter so again this type of plants I got it this year and very special type of fruit here you can see that uh, in the video you can uh, all this you see this fruit type is you know uh, in the middle portion is narrow base is little bit uh, th uh, narrow and 
upper portion is uh, little bit thicker, round. So there is a, this shape is a dumbbell. So my request is that whenever already get this type of plants, after footing if you identify it, please destroy it. Otherwise the problem, it is bitter. You cannot enjoy the fruit. At the same time, leaf is also taking bitter. So this is again the same point is coming here. When already you buy the seedlings from the store, you do not know actually what you are going to buy. After growing, wasting your time, money at the same time season, finally got the result which is not favorable for you. So that's why actually if you want to keep your seeds at home, at the same time if you already uh, raise your seedlings by yourself, so you are guaranteed at the same time um, uh, you are just um, not there is a question of losing but everybody cannot uh, raise the seedlings so known organization and known uh, actually uh, those who are real horticulturist or those who are actually professional you can ask for them and uh, actually you buy seedlings from that places which is really can you, you can get the guarantee from them is a good selling so um, this uh, this uh, idea project also have the planning to provide seedlings in uh, next year uh, particularly this squash as well as some bitter melon and some eggplant also but initial stage uh, we are planning to give a small amount of seeds because knowing variety of our after knowing variety we can already uh, importing seeds from the India and we can um, raise the seedlings and we can supply it and very interesting this is the stem amaranth you saw it there is a leaf amaranth is red which is uh, looks like on the ground and uh, beside that there is a Indian spinach and this is another uh, amaranth it is uh, usually uh, grow up to six seven feet and very soft and in our vegetable uh, curry usually we with the meat with the fish it is a good dishes can be made and with some spices like uh, mustard like some other spices or coconut and uh, imli that is a, that is a turmeric uh, tamarind you can make uh, good curry and you can find here um, some eggplant so this eggplant a bit different and some are growing good here maybe the soil is very good because there already some organic matter is much more here and this eggplant though planted at the same times but planting uh, plants uh, actually health is very nice and i believe that it uh, will give me the good food and here actually i have some plants so this okra uh, okra plant actually about 20 okra plant uh, already I planted here. I bought the seedlings from the Chinese store, but most of them are not established well in the soil. I don't know what is the problem, but finally I saw root was not developed. Uh, in the root zone was very dry, but few plants already been stand established and some fruits is coming but it is not actually up to the uh, satisfactory level so I, I do believe that the variety at the same time the okra cultivation uh, really needs some special attention and uh, here is some uh, actually this uh, it is uh, again for Indian Karela or bitter melon very interesting that actually you see here this is the Indian bitter melon. Here, about seven, eight fruits are here, and all are uh, growing at the same time. Nothing uh, I have been poly uh, pollinated artificially. Everything naturally it is uh, coming because this place is very problem to come inside. But anyway, so lots of male and female flowers. They are so actually pollinated naturally. But these fruits uh, become one pound, more than one pound even. Uh, last year already I have uh, got the same because these seeds particularly I am maintaining here and one or two plants is uh, from collected from um, Chinese store but two Indian varieties I mean this type of corolla is I have own seeds. So 
it is until the october this plant will giving the fruits but another thing this leaf this leaves is very good vegetable if you cook this vegetable with the uh, pal dal pals actually like lentil uh, like uh, chickpea or like uh, uh, moog black gum and with the coconut also very delicious dish you can be, be, uh, make uh, and uh, you can made it and actually you know in philippine filipino people rather they choose the f uh, leaves or stem rather the fruits so this year some of our guest and all the wife of uh, our senior professors already she told my wife that uh, why don't you use it too much in the with the pals so my wife already cooked by this time and already it is really delicious so i think bitter melon can be used as fruits at the same time leaves can be used as vegetable and it has very good medicinal value everybody knows it is a good for diabetic and blood pressure so i have four plant here and i believe from next year at least per week about 4 5 pounds i can be harvested and later on when uh, my experience that in september oh my god already uh, in this uh, small places about 10 10 15 pounds i could harvest in a single day so this is very good vegetable to be grown here and here is the this gold very nicely grown and some this gold already developed here but uh, not many and this plant is going good then but on point i have to mention here again so that is why this garden planning can give you this good output that has to be explained again because only 300 square feet places is here and that places if you wish to earn something you can do that i know one of my friend this type of uh, stem amaranth already selling 5 dollar per pound and single plant become about 5 6 pound and usually in the wholesale 2 to 3 dollars they can sell it so this is very important Uh, something you can already sell into the market and uh, some expenses you can recover from this way and if you keep the seeds of this amaranth it is really difficult because amaranth is a cross pollinator and outcrossing is taking place so that's why you have to careful if you maintaining the variety so same varieties two plants can be put together in a bag so they are is easy to get maintaining the same variety and other technicalities can be discussed if anybody is interested to come and ask me i can give you the idea so many crops is there but seed development and seed maintenance is really difficult so how it, it can be maintained and developed that technical things can be discussed later on and another thing i can you can see it there is a chili hot chili is also growing in the other part this, this plot uh, i saw that is there is a coriander is gone and now there is a coriander seeds and here is hot chilies you know this is a small plant giving the hot chilies and uh, gradually this uh, chili is uh, already coming and plant will be larger this is the mint plant already uh, some planting uh, have been done but uh, it is a uh, that's why it looks drying dying but it is not really dying it comes out you see this is small plant is giving the chili this variety i bought from the sri lankan store they have some hot chilies and very interesting year round you can keep this about three or four plant if you can grow it here so year round already you can preserve the hot chili green chili in the fridge and you can use up to the next year again so a small family in toronto or in north america particularly i would say for the those who are asian they love asian vegetable and even uh, maybe african others if they already make a good plan very small places 
at their balcony or the backyard so year round they can use their preserved vegetable at the same time fresh vegetable three months they can be used so uh, now it is the very uh, it is not mid stage early mid stage of my garden after that it will giving fruit heavily so uh, mid stage will become after uh, 10 days at the same time after uh, august lots of fruits and lots of everything will be there and i can give you the uh, accounts how many pounds uh, vegetable can be grown here and what are the end result uh, to get uh, what are the good or bad so mostly this is two point on i found here this actually this uh, bottle gold on variety is really bad at the same time some winter melon has lot of diseases and a uh, rich gold uh, rich gold i uh, still i do not get any food but actually i believe food if it is not uh, food so it is not good for here so some crops being selected which is good for here some crop is bad or good that result can be come and uh, this is up to that and uh, any question so i think we can um, get it from mr shahidullah uh, this is the garden and actually if any question you have so we can talk to and answer that so uncle it's great to learn about uh, your garden it's so detailed and it's so amazing uh, so uh, at this point uh, you discussed and described all of your crops it's really amazing so just one question uh, came in my mind about pollination so could you please uh, describe like how this pollination can happen or if you do the pollination by yourself or you take measures to do the pollination what steps uh, you follow to do this uh, pollination pollination uh, actually very important to get fruits so here we growing like a Cucurbitaceae family, if you consider lau jake amra bolii, shosha ba cucumber, bottle gourd ba lau, and sometimes sweet gourd, I think misty kumra, ash gourd, winter melon, chal kumra. Eglo shob glo hoche cucurbitaceae family. To cucurbitaceae family it un corolla ba bitter melon. So male flower and female flower is separate. So male flower and female flower, if female flower does not get the pollen from the male flower, so fruit will not be setting. So that's why how it is happen. Usually in the large field or some places in the naturally insect. Sometimes and most of the time insect. is the pollinating agent so on insect uh, like bee different kinds of bumble bee honey bee they are uh, visiting or moving on the flower and taking the pollen with their leg or the is mouth and again visiting the female flower that's why pollination is uh, happen and pollen is transferred but when we are doing the gardening like here and at the same time if we depending uh, on the pollinating agent sometimes uh, notice that fruiting percentage is very less so generally in commercially when uh, the cucurbit family is growing like a cucumber under the poly house or greenhouse there is a bumblebee uh, or pollinators hive or cage is there inside so that take place to pollinating and other technique is also there uh, to be Uh, or just uh, making not pollinating there there is a technique to how to get the fruits it is uh, different things uh, naturally without pollination uh, some fruits can be developed so this is more details or highly technical but here already simple thing is that that soil pollination is needed to get more fruits more fruits i mean effective fruit uh, to be uh, like uh, effective uh, we can say not effective it is actually if there is a female 
without pollination female flower does not give fruit so automatically uh, already fruit will be uh, decayed or destroyed so that's a pollination is needed how to do it so artificially uh, actually we can do that so first we should know that when the female flower is ready to get poll a pollen from the male flower at the same time when the male flower is ready to give pollen this two timing is very important to know and how to get already just pure pollen uh, if you already uh, like a, do not control uh, like a, any kind of uh, mm, just bottle gold any kind of bottle gold pollen is received uh, or uh, desire to receive so there is you no know, uh, question of pure or without contamination pollen but when you already uh, wish to select the mating i mean uh, like a pollen from a to b so before you have to make some arrangement for that actually before opening the flower you have to bagging both uh, both male and female flower but usually when you do the gardening to get more fruits so we do not need of that like we have four varieties of uh, bottle gourd here so any male flower from any varieties can be already pollinated by other uh, variety no problem so usually in the bottle gourd afternoon is the pollinating time so when you already come 4 uh, 5 6 7 o'clock in the garden you can see uh, there is a lot of flower female flower has has got pollen and then you can dust it on the female flower which is ready so i can uh, show you i can uh, you can see uh, just here you can see the two flower i can see yes you see this is the two flower this two flower uh, it is almost uh, going to open and by this time already if you see that inside you can find the uh, powder of this pollen actually it is ready to give pollen you see here here you see in my uh, uh, finger tip of my finger you can see the white white like a yeah uh, white uh, powder it is the pollen so this flower is ready to now it is a uh, 5 or 6 o'clock so uh, for this uh, type of uh, crops like a it is called uh, lau so the pollen is ready at the same time female is now definitely but here you can find this two flower you see this is the actually female uh, female flower uh, and female flower is almost open uh, so you can definitely think that it is ready to receive the pollen and here you see this is the male flower of the same variety and it is going to ready to open so uh, uh, probably this pollen become bust so you can um, yeah it is pollen uh, already is bust so the thing is my hand is not um, clean so any other pollen could be here so but where we are not controlling the pollen so uh, pollination to uh, its respective pollen so we can do that so here you see that here pollen is here you see here in this petal base of the petal lot of pollen here and this is ready to pollination so i can do pollination like such a way this is the female flower and this is tip it is the style and it is the stigma it is the stigma of female part is called stigma stigma is uh, if i dust this pollen to the stigma so gradually the pollen tube will grow on the stigma and it will be fertilized uh, with this pollen to this uh, female flower so then we can get the fruit so there is a lot of pollen so i can already dust again from the this is the style uh, female part uh, where there is a pollen there is a style so i can rub the style on the stigma so it is pollination done so on thing now maybe insect will come and take the pollen in different flower and give it so that does not matter here because we are not taking the seeds or maintaining the purity we only the only desire the fruit so that's why this is uncontrolled pollinations so but if you already wish to control the pollination so the flower we take that flower should be covered a study so no insect should already contaminate the pollen at the same time this female should be covered yesterday and today we should open 
and after control pollination we can again cover this food and by this time if you are handling any pollen you have to have already clean your hand by spirit alcohol otherwise contamination would be happen pollen contamination such a way this being done yesterday so i believe this is pollination is successful because you can find here lot of fruits you see on 2 3 4 uh, and 5 6 all are pollination mm, um, myself or my wife come to here in the afternoon and she done it and easily fruit percentage will be much more so that's a one thing many growers uh, community growers come and ask me why my uh, just um, low i mean this uh, bottle gourd is less and why you have so much so i asked them did you pollinate they are no no we didn't do that so naturally whenever this pollination happen that amount of fruits is formed so when you go for the artificial pollination so fruit is already, already ensured you sometimes maybe uh, some uh, injury and other you see this low uh, this is also already going but in my garden every fruits that came here i or my wife did pollinate it so that's why fruit percentage how many fruits pollinating we have a record and after 2 to 3 days we saw is work is successful so pollination very easy and but regular you have to monitor morning time you have to monitor which flower become pollinating afternoon and that recording you have to keep your uh, data book because there is a lot of plants so number 1 2 3 4 which plants needs pollination so then you come up uh, after 5 o'clock and you find flower male and female is ready then you can do the pollination so this is for uh, particularly this crops but for other crops if you do egg plants pollinations to develop your variety for others this is different but in cucumber there is sometimes also little bit different cucumber sometimes many cucumber is a male style i mean male does not provide any uh, pollination a uh, pollen or there is some uh, physiological yeah actually mechanism we, i cannot technically describe too much here but anyway there is some problem and there are some uh, sometimes already there is no male flower so you can already uh, spray silver nitrate certain amount already male uh, organ can be developed in the female flower also like that so that's why uh, it is there is a good sign some behind that thank you uncle for updating us about your garden so now uh, i want to finish the video so far i think uh, you have seen lot of ways to do how to uh, pollinate your crops and different uh, procedure how to um, perform this process uh, very very carefully and fruitfully and uh, so far i understood that uh, this pollination is very very important uh, to grow your crop and maximize your production level however uh, it's a wonderful experience for me that i had today from uncle's uh, initiative and uh, this uh, farm uh, so uh, i hope uh, this video will help you out to put together some knowledge and information Uh, from his discussion and hopefully uh, you can use this information and grow your own uh, backyard garden however uh, if any time any help is ne uh, needed uh, you can definitely uh, comment below and i will try my best uh, to give you answer or i can connect you with uh, dr badul islam so that uh, you can make your garden a better one a wonderful one that's all for today uh, i hope you enjoyed this video if so uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also like share and comment on this video i hope uh, you guys will have a good time and will have good experience from your own garden so have fun and goodbye